Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to see what is version control system and why do we need to use version control system. In our course we are going to use git as our version control system. Let's go and see why version control system came into the picture. First let's understand the problem. You want to write some code with group of people. Usually in real time cases group of people working on same project. Whenever group of people are working on same project they need to collaborate with each other to write the code. I am writing one module, another guy is writing another module. We want to combine this code or we want to understand what other person is developing and how I need to develop. This is the biggest problem and the exchange was happening manually. Nothing but copying from one developer laptop to another developer laptop. And also it is very tricky to manage. Why? Because I have given my code to my peer today. Again tomorrow if I am doing some changes to my code, again I need to share with him. Like this if we have more number of people working on same project, it is more complex. To avoid this problem, industry come up with a solution called version control system. Now let's see what is version control system. A system that keeps record of your changes. While you are writing your code, if you are doing any changes to your code, it is tracking or it records those changes. Let's take an example that I have written some code yesterday and today I have done some changes. Like this every day I am modifying my code. But after one week if I want to recollect what changes I have done today, it is quite difficult. Why? Because whatever changes I have done today causing for some issue. So I want to revert changes what I have done today. In this case, version control system works effectively. It remembers each and every change what we have done our code and uh, when we have done. Next, allows for collaborative development. As I said, multiple people are working on same project. Code sharing is quite a difficult problem. But if we use version control system, it is very easy to share our code and work collaboratively. Next, allows you to know who made what changes and when. As I said, whenever we do any changes, it tracks those changes and remembers who has done those changes. Next, allows you to revert any changes. If we done some changes today, it is not working and I want to go back to yesterday's code, it is quite easy for me because it tracks what changes I have done today and allows me to revert to previous code. So these are the major advantages of using version control system. Now let's see what kind of version control systems are available. One is local, then centralized and distributed. First let's understand what is local. Local version control system works on your local computer. It means that in my laptop I can install this version control system and I can track my changes. Assume that I am updating my file multiple times then each time the file will be recorded what changes you have done and when you have done those changes and it always point to the latest update what you have done. If you want to go back to the previous version you can go easily. But local version control system works if you are a single developer or you don't want to collaboratively work with your team. But this doesn't solve the problem if we want to write the code with a group of people. Next let's see centralized version control system. In centralized version control system, you have a centralized repository or main server repository and collaborators and developers communicates with the main server repository and write the code. And you don't have any local copy of your code or project in the centralized repository. In case if centralized repository is not accessible, developers or collaborators could not able to write the code. Why? Because this should be always accessible. So centralized repository solves the problem to work with group of people but in case centralized repository is not accessible it is a problem for the collaborators or developers. Next let's see distributed version control system. Distributed version control system is the mostly or widely used version control system. Why? Because it has a main server repository as well as the local repository. Nothing but whatever code you are having, same code is available in the developer system. You can sync central repository with the local repository and developers can continue 
write the code even though centralized repository is not accessible because same code or project is available in the local system. They can write the code and commit in the local repository and they push it into the centralized repository. But in this case, pushing your changes directly to the centralized repository is not possible. You must push your changes into the local repository. From local repository, it will go to the centralized repository. In this case, even though centralized repository is not available or local repository is not available, there is no problem because even other collaborators or developers also having the same code. You can push this code into the central repository. From there, again, everybody can able to pull it. So pull nothing but taking the code into your local repository, push nothing but pushing the code into the centralized repository. You are going to understand these terms little deeper in going forward sessions. Now let's see what and all version control systems are available in the market. Git is one of the version control system, Bitbucket, Subversion, Mercurial, Perforce, GitLab. Like this we have multiple version control systems are there. Among these we are using Git as our version control system. That's all for this lecture and see you in the next video.